What's up everyone and welcome to Jayconomics. My name is Jay and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we take a look at anything related to finance with a strong focus on investing. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to help me on my quest to befriend the big, bad YouTube algorithm. You all know how I feel about CloudMD. I bet big on this company in the early stages as I strongly believe in the business model and industry that they're in. I think this is an industry that is poised for massive growth and this is just the beginning. You would have tripled your money if you had invested when I recommended this for the first time. I've spoken to Dr. Hamza, the CEO of the company, and I absolutely love the vision and direction of this company. If you want to hear my full interview with him, check the video linked above. It will give you a great understanding of not only the company, but the telehealth industry as a whole. An absolute no-brainer investment. And though I'm close to 400% up on warrants and almost 200% on shares, I still have no intention of selling. Set it and forget it, as I've been saying for months now. Now, there is definitely a shortage of public healthcare companies here in Canada, but I have spotted a few interesting ones early last week that I think have a lot of potential. I will reveal one of those today and will do a kind of a deep dive on it that does have some similarities to Doc and well, but also does have some major differences as well. But before I reveal what this stock is, anyone who isn't currently a part of our free Smart Money Squad Discord server, you should go do that right now. Lots of good dialogue and content in there. The link is in the description below. So make that thumbs up turn blue and subscribe if you're new, as it really does help the channel a lot. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. As I mentioned before, this next company caught my attention early last week. They're a healthcare and telehealth company that just went public on the TSX Venture a few weeks back. And this company is Jack Nathan Health, ticker symbol JNH.V. At Jack Nathan Health, we believe that we're going to revolutionize healthcare. Revolutionizing healthcare is about providing access. Providing access to patients where patients traditionally had no access. Wouldn't it be great if we create a, a standard? A standard in healthcare. A standard symbol that you know when you walk in anywhere in the world, you would get consistent quality healthcare. The equivalent of a Canadian healthcare experience. Something that we pride ourselves. Canadian healthcare is probably one of the most exportable services that we have in Canada. We will be able not just to export the technology, but actually export the healthcare professionals to train other physicians, collaborate with other international physicians on what a retail healthcare environment looks like. Retail health has been part of our DNA in North America for a long time. It's time to show the world what Jack Nathan Health can do. So they've had a partnership with Walmart ever since 2006 and have grown from a single location to over 82 locations since then. And they've obviously been private up until a week ago, or sorry, two weeks ago. This stock has not made the rounds yet and has barely had any exposure. They also have a tiny float of just under 4 million shares, meaning that out of the 74 million shares of the company, only 4 million are not locked up and available to trade currently, which will make the stock very volatile and could make it absolute rocket fuel for the next week or two as people start to hear about this company more and more. J&H chose to go public now because they want to rapidly expand internationally into Mexico. Their expansion plans do also include China, Japan, Central America, and the UK as well eventually. In this telehealth boom, they can continue to leverage technology more to enhance their business model. For example, their partnership with Canada Health InfoA to help implement Prescribe IT, a digital prescribing platform. So this 
platform is an e-prescribing service that allows doctors and other prescribing medical professionals within the Jack Nathan Health Medical Centers to electronically transmit a prescription directly to the patient's pharmacy of choice, so there's no need for paper prescriptions anymore. So let's talk about what their business model actually looks like. Jack Nathan Medical Clinics are located inside Walmart locations and it operates like a franchise model, meaning that they take a licensing fee on every location. So they do not employ and take revenue from the doctors directly, which is what CloudMD and WellHealth do. So although loosely related, J&H is not the same. In the investor presentation, j &H outlines the real opportunity in front of them for international expansion, specifically in Mexico, where there's over 2,500 Walmart locations, but only six j &H clinics currently operating. Now compare that to Canada, where they are currently operating in 76 of the 408 locations. So in total right now, they got 76 in Canada, 6 in Mexico, so 82 total right now. Revenue per store location is currently around $100,000, but will increase as the company builds the larger versions of their clinics rather than the small versions. And as they do this, the larger new clinics will allow for various health services like physiotherapy, for example, and serve as a kind of like a one-stop shop for patients. And this will increase revenue as well. On top of this, j &H doesn't have to worry about the construction costs that come with building the clinics as this is covered by Walmart. So if j &H is able to execute their plans and continue to add locations as the years go by, then this company and this stock will perform very well from today's levels of $1.68 Canadian. So there are three ways in which j &H aims to continue increasing revenue. Number one, by opening new clinics with a near-term focus on the Canadian and Mexican markets and a longer-term focus on international expansion to drive stable, recurring revenue base. Number two, through allied health services and technology to drive patient and practitioner relationship and engagement. And the third, to continue to acquire new products and services that generate additional revenue streams. Now, personally, I think the franchise model is smart and it does differentiate it from other Canadian players, as well as the strong focus on international expansion I'm a big fan of as well. Their 14 year strong relationship with Walmart is a win win for both parties, so I can see this continuing to blossom for the years to come. Also, this is not a concept, this is already at work. JH has been cash flow positive for the last 10 years. If we take a look at this table here, it shows us the average of both the EV sales and EV EBITDA multiples of Well, CloudMD, and Jack Nathan Health. We can see that based on the $1 share price of JNH, it was very undervalued compared to its peers. Now it's at $1.68, so that would mean an implied 9% increase here for fair value. But as we have seen for telehealth stocks as of late, this doesn't mean all that much. Something to keep in mind too is that just because a company is undervalued or overvalued by these metrics in a relative sense, it's not a given that undervalued companies will catch up to the overvalued ones or that the overvalued ones will not remain overvalued. So just keep this in mind before you want to invest in Jack Nathan Health just because it's the new shiny object. Do your own research. They are not national problems. They're global problems. And now that we have locations in Mexico and opening locations in China, we're looking at seven other countries. The most important thing we can do at Jack Nathan is stay on course for international expansion. The world is getting smaller. The world is more connected than ever before. There is no reason why we shouldn't have a connected healthcare experience. The most important thing in everybody's life is family. I would like nothing more than at some point to leave this world knowing that my children will have access to consistent quality health care. We have to be prepared to help those that want to help their loved ones. That's what we do. So you guys are probably wondering now if I'm invested into the company and well, I am. 
Um, I bought 100 shares only uh, last Thursday at just over a dollar per share. And I added a bunch more on Friday after doing my research on Thursday night. I will likely increase my position on Monday if we see people taking profits. Now I do own all three of these companies. CloudMD has been and still is my favorite stock and my largest position right now, followed by Well and then JNH. I definitely like the international expansion strategy and expect some nice things in the next few years. As I've mentioned countless times on this channel, this trend is not something that's going away. Telehealth is here to stay, and patient-centric care is going to keep growing as people realize just to what extent how broken our current healthcare system is in Canada. So that wraps it up for today's episode. Let me know in the comments below if you're invested into JNH or if you plan on investing. And guys, if this video brought you some value, then please smash that like button for me as it really does help the channel grow. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn off that, turn off, not turn off, turn on that notification bell to be notified when any new video comes out. And of course, please feel free to join our Smart Money Discord server. It's free and we've got a great growing community in there. Until next time, take care and invest smart.